Yo guys, what's up? Basically, rapping meme people. Before we start this video, make sure you guys go like and subscribe. And today, um, you've seen me do Roblox, so now we're gonna go to Roblox scripting. So, I actually know a bit, not a lot, but um, I do know a bit of uh, Roblox scripting, which is called Lua. So, you know what? I'm gonna uncover that to y'all. So, I'm gonna uncover every single bit of it today of how to script. So, uh, let's get right into it, honestly, shall we? So, um, honestly, there's not a lot that I know, but there, it's good enough, um, not to start obviously like a Roblox game or whatnot, but it's, it's good enough for something like, um, you know, learning how to do the basic stuff. So, um, I'm going to learn, I'll teach you the basics today. So I just created a part, so you can create it by clicking part or you can copy and paste the part. Um, here we go, so, uh, we can search up sign, and we can get a sign, so, yeah, that's perfect, so, in a sign, you have surface GUI, and in this sign, or in this surface GUI, you have multiple and multiple things, so, that's what I'm going to be showing you today, so, if I can get my cow, what is happening? I'm so sorry, I'm lagging. In the text, we're gonna go down to text, surface GUI, text label. And we're gonna go into its information, its properties. And we're gonna go find where it says text here. And we're gonna say, click on the block. So that should work fine. So yeah, that should work fine. Well, we're actually going to start adding scripts to this. So get ready. So inside, we're actually going to rename this part so we can give it a good name. So uh, click me. Perfect. Bad name, but you know what? Who cares? And inside this, we're going to add a script. And then also, we're going to add a click detector because that's how we add the clicking so um what we have is click me and this is this is just the basic thing print goes into the output so like i put in here warn that basically warns uh things error means like this red right here um and then uh, uh, print just prints some things, but let's just get to very simple things. So, let's say you want to make a variable. Variables are things that store data. So, if you want us to do something that stores data, you have to say. So, let's say we want to make a basic variable. We're gonna say variable uh, name. That's the variable name equals one. Boom. Just like that. That's the variable name, and that's its value. So, what if we wanted to do something like, uh, maybe like something random, make it a random number, like random generate. Math.random, and then we do one, two. So, it'll pick a number between one to two. So, yeah, pick a number between one to two, and boom, there it goes. Um, you can also make it local. So you can also make it local. You can do a lot of things with it. Um, but anyways, that doesn't matter because we are gonna do some really cool stuff with this. So let's say we wanted to make a variable of an object. Well, guess what? That's possible because you can say local part equals uh game dot workspace dot um click me boom there's your part and let's say you wanted to do um you wanted to get the click so local click equals uh script up parent now what script me uh script up parent means is the parent of uh, the script, which you can see that 
game is the big parent it's like the grand grand grandparent so basically what this does is and anything that's uh, inside of the game is a child so um, camera is a child of workspace and workspace is the parent of camera so script parent is this part and then we want to put in this wait for child which means it's waiting for it to exist now what this means is can be kind of confusing uh, here let me put this in so basically what's so confusing about this is that what wait for child means is you're waiting for it to exist so you're waiting something you're waiting for your child to exist which is apparently click detector so you're waiting for it to exist if you say get children that returns an array of all of its children inside it uh that it says for it to be. so like script up parent and then get children it will say click detector and script so you would do that but if you can also do find first child that's the first one on the list so um but it's also like the most important and whatnot so you want to make a function so what a function is it, it is a an action that gets called and what do you do with this action that gets called well uh you make a function for it now you can make custom functions like function uh, I am so cool and then you gotta add that and then boom now you can also make this function local and that basically helps it be called so you can say I am so cool so you can also do that and then you can also say click dot mouse click connect and then that's how you can make a uh, that's how you can make a uh, uh, like a non-calling function because it's it's not non-calling but it's you can't make it custom called so but you can say I am so cool you can also do that so basically that means oh if if um this part gets clicked then we're gonna may say we're gonna make it say i am so cool uh we're gonna do the function of i am so cool but that's not what we be, will be doing today we're gonna make it do something completely different with this mouse click so we're gonna say click which is the click detector dot mouse click which it's trying to detect the mouse click connect which means it's true and then we can do function Yeah, boom, you have your, uh, I prefer to capitalize these, but it really doesn't matter. Like, you can make it do, like, this. Like, you can do that. You can do anything with it. It does, I, I think, I'm pretty sure. Now, click dot mask click, uh, dot connect. We can do that, but I think we should save that for later and make this a local function. If clicked, we're gonna make it like that. So, what happens? Uh, what we're gonna do is here. Actually, we're gonna make this easy. Here, local s uh, script script parent equals script dot parent. We're gonna make that easy on ourselves. Now, sp. Now we can do that, and that makes it easier. Boom. So, what happens with this? Well, we're going to say, because, um, like, this function can't be, uh, has to be called, we're going to say, click that mouse click, just like before. Click dot mouse click connect with click. And that's really, it's easy, oh wait, uh, you gotta make sure that everything is, like, perfect with case, it's, it's very case sensitive, so you gotta make it perfect. Now, uh, with this, uh, then we wanna say, so, uh, we have our part, and we have everything like this, so, when this gets clicked, 
Let's say we want to change what the sign says. That's what this entire sign here was for. So we can say game dot workspace dot um sign dot text dot surface gy dot text label boom and that's how you do that so it just goes in by in by in so you see sign and then you see text and then surface gy and then text label that's basically how it works. It's just child by child by child. So, and then you go uh, parent by grandparent by grand grandparent by grand 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 grandparent. So, what we're going to do with this function is we are going to say, um, we're going to say sign.text, which is inside the text label, equals you uh, clicked the block. And then we're gonna say print click block just to let us know that we clicked the block. Um, let's say we want to change its color. So let's say um, we're gonna have a new variable. So local random equals uh, math dot random one. Let's say five. So we're gonna make five new if statements saying, oh, if random equals one, then this. If random equals two, then this. Um, and actually, we're gonna make this a while loop. So while true do. This is basically a while true do is a while loop. And basically, what a while loop is, a while loop is a forever loop, or it's a um, it's a continuous loop. So let's say you have a. Uh, Let's say you have a variable, and let's say while count equals one do, or while count is less than one do, less than five. So that means that it's gonna do that action, and it's gonna repeat the loop until that variable equals five, which you probably have to change it within the variable else it'll go forever. While true do means that it's gonna go on forever. Forever, forever, forever. So now what we'll do with this is we're gonna say, if random equals one, then the, um, then we say, let's say local random. So let's say we want to change the parts brick color. So part dot brick color equals brick color dot new lime green. Um, and then print, let's say we want to print, let's print it say, uh, heart, heart, uh, color is lime green. Boom. Now we want to say, oh, what if it's this? We can say else, which means if it's anything else than one, but we don't want to do that. We want to say else if. Um, equals two, and then, and then we're gonna do that, and then we're gonna say we're just gonna completely copy this, but change the color. So we're gonna make this very randomized. We're gonna say I'm gonna do this, and then the first thing that comes up, institutional white. Okay, institutional white works. White. So now we're just gonna completely copy this, and you can just completely copy and paste. Let's say if it's if it, like it bugs out and it does something else. Well, else, and then we uh, we can say error. So we're gonna say error, and let's say uh, yeah, um, issue occurred. Okay, so now we have that. Now obviously it's gonna go blah, 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 like constant. So what do we change that? 
0.5. So after 0.5 seconds, it will go back to the loop again. Basically, that just means, okay, let's take a break for five seconds and then exe uh, execute more of the code. So now, you know, it's done. So let's see this. If this doesn't work, then screw me. So let's see how this works. Now, looks like everything is not loading at all. Yeah, it looks like nothing is loading at all. But let's see if we do this. There you go. So that's what the color olive is? Ugh. I don't like that color. Olive. Oh, I couldn't see. It's like a yellowish color. Like, that's okay. Oh, yeah, that. Yeah, that's not a good color. Um, yeah, it looks like I didn't anchor this at all, but we can change those properties. We can change those, honestly. So, like, we can say, um, here, let's put it up here. Uh, part dot anchored equals true. Part dot can collide equals true. Now, we probably should put this under the variable because it doesn't declare it yet. So, I'm going to do this, and then... There we go. So, uh, and then you're also wondering, if you're also wondering how you do comments, you can do stuff like that. So, like, I can put, like, here, there's two types of comments. You can do a two dash and say hi. It's hard to see, but you know what? That's fine. You can do that. Or you can do dash dash bracket bracket hello and now this what this does is this is a multiple line comment so anything I put in between this is still a comment so I can do I can say some really cool stuff but anyways oh hold on I just realized you guys can't see kind of like that yeah like right here like where I'm putting my little yeah, like this little line but yeah, so that's all the time I have for today, guys. But thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I hope you guys can enjoy scripting as much as I do. So um, yeah, and next time, if I do this again, I'll teach you how to do sounds and uh, certain lighting and whatnot. Because I have done lighting before, so uh, that's good. I've also done uh, other things, so that's good. That's good. So anyways, see you next time. Bye. Hello everyone, before you go, make sure you click the like button, subscribe, and hit the bell so you don't miss any new videos. Toodaloo!